guys, this, this week I got a phone call. Somebody that I know is going to have a competition where they're going to teach two different people two different memory methods and then see which method works the best. They're going to teach this person the, the, the memory palace. It's known as the memory palace or you might know it as the mind palace or the method of loci or the journey method. Um, it's, all, it's, it's all one system though, the mind palace. They're going to teach the other guy the story method or the linking method and then they're going to see, put them in a competition and see which one works better. The what are the positives and negatives of each memory method? Let's go. So the first one that we're going to talk about is the story or the linking method. It is the most simple of the two memory methods and my cousin's a simple man. That's why I'm going to help me illustrate it. I'm a simple man too. That's why we're cousins. <laughs> the story method or the linking method is you take a series of 10 or 15 or 20 words and you link them together in a story. For example, let's say you have the words mountain, ice, trees, bicycle, German shepherd, glass of water, and shoe. You could memorize that string of words by saying there is a mountain and it has ice on the top and trees on the side. Coming down the mountain is a bicycle ridden by a German shepherd. He has a glass of water in one hand and a shoe in the other. In other words, what we did was is we just took a series of seven or eight words and we memorized them by creating a story. My cousin, Donovan, used the linking method or the story method as all the states in the United States use this song. Now, what grade were you in when you learned this? I was in the sixth grade. In the sixth grade. So back then there was probably only like 14 or 15 states. 13. 13. Okay, there is 13. <laughs> so he learned, he used the linking method to memorize the states. You, you learned this song 25, 30 years ago and you can still sing it today. That's correct. Let's hear it. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Texas Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. That was the story method, and my dancing was just a bonus. Donovan. Yes, sir. Tell me the 20th state in that song. I would have to take a minute. You can't do it. That's the weakness to the story method. The strength of the story method is, is you can learn it very rapidly. And you can take any string of words and you can memorize them really quick by creating a song or a story. Now let's talk about the memory palace method. Okay guys, now the memory palace or the mind palace, this method is different. It uses a room. It uses landmarks in a room. Let's pick five landmarks in this room. This is my office. The first landmark that we're going to use is the door. The second one is the bookshelf. The third is my chair. The fourth is that poster over there with the man with the gun. And the fifth one is the bleacher seats. So now let's take a picture and I want you to see a photo album, like an album that has a bunch of pictures and we're looking at a photo album on the door. Over on my bookshelf, I want you to imagine it's an ice cube and it is melting. An ice cube is melting. Imagine that the water is getting all my books wet. The next one, I want you to imagine I try to sit down in my chair, but I can't because there's a cactus. So I stand up real quick. Over here, this guy, he is getting on a boat. He is getting on an ark. So he's getting ready to step into an ark, step into a boat. And right here, you're at the baseball game and you get a bunch of gold bars, a bunch of gold, million dollars worth of gold. So right here we got a million dollars worth of gold. Right here we got a guy getting on a boat, an ark. You sit on the chair and you can't because the cactus, the melting ice, and the photo album. This is the memory palace or the mind palace method. What you do is, is you pick a room and then you pick 15, 20 spots around that room or five spots around that room and then you take whatever you want to recall you see it as a picture on those spots. 
Alabama, photo album. Alaska, an igloo. Arizona, a cactus. Arkansas, an ark, a boat. And the California gold rush for California. Now, what negatives of the memory palace are, it takes more time to learn and more setup time. The positives of the memory palace is, is that you could pick a thousand spots around different homes and you could memorize a thousand pieces of information. Not only can you remember more information with this than you can with the story method, it's, you can also say it forwards, you could say it backwards. Right now I could say what's number five and you would think chairs, gold bars, and remember that that was Cal the California Gold Rush. So you can say the Memory Palace forwards and backwards. You can, you can do up to a thousand of them. It takes more time to build, but in the end, in the long run, it's a better memory method because you can memorize more information. If you're willing to spend the time, it might take you a couple days or even a couple weeks to build yourself a hundred or two hundred or three hundred or a thousand files. But if you're willing to do that, it's the better memory method. If you're looking for something quick and simple and easy, the song works just fine. You're just not going to be able to memorize as much and you're not going to know it by number and sometimes that's not important. My prediction for this competition though that my friend is going to do is that the person who used the story method might do just as good or even better than the person who uses the mind palace because they're only going to do 10 or 15 words and they and the person who has the mind palace might not have enough time to master the system before they have the competition. So there you have it, memory palace versus story method. Two popular methods, two good methods. I prefer the memory palace, and I think most memory experts do. If, if you're not real sure what the mind palace of the memory palace is and you want more information on it, send me an email to ron at memorizeordie.com. That's ron at memorizeordie.com, and I'll give you more information on the memory palace. Adios. Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs>